Greater Western Sydney took its place in the 2023 final series thanks to an impressive 32-point win over Carlton in a Dordy fight. Out of starting eight in Marvel Stadium game, Giants knew it was going to be a win or a loss against Blues. If GWS lost, Bulldogs would be eighth. And despite losing arguably the best defender like Sam Taylor in a big pre-match blow, GWS still took 16.9 to 11.7 wins. Start your free trial now Captain Toby Green made the offensive lead with four goals. While Jake Riccardi scored three. While a defeat before finals was never ideal. It always guaranteed the Blues fifth place in standings and a home knockout final. Regardless of Sunday's outcome. However. Blake Aker's injury and anxiety after Jacob Wietering's trouble with Green broke the record-breaking day for longtime player Charlie Kerno. Kerno only needed two goals to claim back-to-back -back Coleman medals. And it took less than 20 minutes to achieve that feat in a fantastic opening period. But as Carlton lingered, Kerno would add just one more goal to the game and let the Giants run home until September. Quarter-quarter match report The Giants took a big hit hours before their must-win match. And Sam Taylor, arguably the game's best defender, was knocked out for a knee brace complaint. Taylor became second player to score number one both winning and losing defensive one-on-ones in the same season. Only Eagles star Jeremy McGovern achieved same feat 2016. Despite attacking early, GWS scored first goal as Coleman medal hopeful Charlie Kerno selected the team's first kick and Matt Cottrell cashed in from field. Only Jack Buckley's contact with goal line prevented second goal as Giants defender put his body on line to hit post and it took less than 12 minutes of playtime for Kerno to level up in the Coleman race. A few minutes later, he raised crowd as he scored the second goal and won 2023 Coleman medal. They've lost control of this game. Commenter Gerard Healy said of GWS. Only brain loss caused by Zach Fisher's failure to return the football to Callan Ward gifted GWS his first goal of game. Commentator Jordan Lewis said, Obviously this was not intentional. No player would do that. It's obvious. It's clearly a mistake Fisher made. What happened there is inexplicable. Healy added, They got what they gave. Finger concern for Blue Jacob Wietering saw him come straight from the field into the care of club. Medics as GWS scored two quick goals. First to Lachlan Keefe and then to Captain Toby Green. When Adam Saad limped off field. There was great concern for the Blues backing player who had come this close to finals. At the end of the quarter Carlton took a 2,720 lead. The first half of the second period belonged to GWS, who scored four goals and made a 17-point lead. Stephen Canilio damaged both in the middle and in front of the goal, while Green added two goals. It's very easy right now. In my 50s I score five goals and score four, Lewis added.